Um, this is coming up to the second round of the Beyond Imagined exhibition. Um, when we first started talking four months ago, you were kind of had a plan of taking the car and just driving around the eastern part of the Greenbelt. Um, the second part, again, you're going to continue that kind of road trip way of approaching the project. Any thoughts? Any kind of direction that you're going to go that's different? Or um, no, I think the process is pretty much going to be the same. I've taken some time. I'll probably. I think the coming into the fall, it will be a little more active than it was in the early spring. So I'm looking forward to um, going to some fairs, some agricultural fairs, and fall fairs, and catching the later part of the harvest and, and, um, and just meeting someone. I think part of um, looking at your images is the connection you can see to develop between um, you and people that live and work with the Greenbelt. Um, how has that been for you? It's been, it's been really interesting. Like I... Uh, Moved <laughs> to the country? Yes. Yeah. Makes me want to leave the city. Um, state still there or? I still am in love with the goats. I think they're the divas of the barnyard animals but um, yeah part of it's I think I still I don't know have this romantic notion in my head. I don't know if I want to get up every morning at 5 a.m. to herd goats or but they're just so <laughs> I think I um, had a conversation earlier on this morning about uh, the connection to you and the people that are the kids that are on those farms and the generational kind of aspect of the farm in Ontario. Um, you, you've talked briefly about one young fellow that you met and kind of following him around and maybe connecting to the 4-H fair. Is that what really happened? I'm going to try. I, I have his name and his family name, which and so the name of their farm. His name is Kevin. And uh, I met him at the Brooklyn Fair just briefly. I photographed him and his cow won a, a blue medal. And, uh, when he told me that he bought the cow himself, he saved up his allowance from working on the family farm. He spent $3,500 on a cow. And I just thought, first of all, for any teenager to get their hands on 3500 bucks is pretty rare. And then to spend it on, a, on an animal, um, I just thought it was strange. So I'd love to go back and find him or find some more 4-H fairs. And, um, that teenage group is there to see I think um, the kind of follow up to uh, our last kind of question for this week is this has been a pretty kind of extensive project and it involved you kind of going all over the green belt and that and I just want to kind of get a sense from you as an artist. Has it been really great or what's what's really stood up for you as an artist? Um, well, it has been really great, and I think what, I, I think I'm still trying to figure that out, actually, because I just want to keep going back, and um, my initial thing is I just want to keep going back to the same place, which I know wouldn't necessarily work in the context of this project, um, this, you know, you, the goal is to get a variety of images from the, the region, so... But I think I will. I think I'm just going to keep going back and, and see what happens. Well, as a person that's been looking at these images over the last few months, I'm really, really over the top in terms of how great they turned out. I'm really happy with what you've done. So thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. And we look forward to the next step.